Hey YouTube, so we just wanted to talk about um, what we did with this side of the garden. Um, a lot of the newer, bigger trees got moved to the left side of the garden um, where they can get the most sun. Because right now, as for example, the right side is fully shaded. Except right here up against the house it's fully shaded so um this side gets the most sun because of this massive tree here in the garden um a lot of things are shaded on the other side but this side is all day sun so um all the trees got up potted from seven gallon to 12 with these barrel pots and um, that's the Choquette avocado. That's the Marcus pumpkin avocado. Of course, this is the impressive June plum that has a lot of clusters on it. And this is the biggest cluster right here. And um, behind that, we have a Tyler Sard sugar apple and next to that is another one so we have two Tyler Sard sugar apples this is the biggest one um, next to the sugar apple is the raw sapote with a lot of new growth on top here Looking nice, raw sapote. Um, this right here is the Malay apple or Ethiopian apple. This one, I noticed it stopped growing leaves, so I guess it's done for now with um, new growth. Um, this one right here is our Neelum mango. And my husband did tip all of these, so that's why they have that umbrella effect to them. Because when you tip them, you're basically like cutting off the tip of the branch. That way it will branch back out with like three or four limbs, etc. So everyone wants that umbrella effect and also it keeps the tree um shorter so this one here is the 015 mango this right here is the purple star fruit and it has new growth on it but it's you can see it's small it's look like it's slowing down too because of um i guess a little cooler weather um next to that we have what is this super julie super julie mango also with that umbrella effect behind that is the pineapple pleasure Okay, next to the pineapple pleasure is the orange sherbet. So that one is new, very new. And next to that is the fruit punch, which is also new. Um, in front of that is a mango we got from G's cousin um, Hayden, which is a seedling mango he got from someone else and gave us one. Um, these were also, well, I think this is the, this is where it got tipped at originally, right here. And it pushed out two branches. These two branches are new shoots. So soon these two can get tipped and then hopefully you will have a much wider um, canopy. So next to that is the Prime Kamea, 
which is the smallest mango we have in the yard. I'm hoping that new growth pushes up there. It's a new growth in the middle, but it's not coming up. So hopefully in spring, it shoot up. Um, the, I was saying in another video that the prom kamea is supposed to be a better variety um, versus the nam dak mai. So that's what um, I wanted to tell you guys before. That's what I read anyway. So we'll see. Um, again, it's small. It's not really doing much. We'll see how how much growth I get out of it. I'm hoping it don't die. But this is supposed to be better than Nam Dak Mai. The Prom Kam Maya. Here's the tag. All right, next to that is the East Indian. That's doing good. Next to that is the coconut cream. Next to that is the rosy gold. Rosy gold has a good canopy too. Very nice. And next to that is the pickering. Our first and oldest tree. Pickering. Which looks like it has and thragnose or something on it i'm gonna have to spray this down so that's the pickering um the newest additions to our garden this is a um dwarf malaysian coconut this is the gold so we got gold and this one right here is the green and we got the green coconut and the gold and they're pretty tall minus the pot they're probably about nine feet tall so those are the two newest additions to the garden um let's look at the breadfruit it pushed up a leaf like three days ago. This is the new leaf right here. And it's already starting a new one right there in the middle. And um, this summer, it grew a lot because when we first got it, it was about, where's the graph point? Okay, yeah, this is the graph point right here. From the graph point up, maybe this high. And now it's more than double that height. So, very impressive. And this winter, we're gonna have to um, put it in a greenhouse. So we're gonna um, put together a greenhouse literally right here in this spot where it is right now. This whole section here it's going to be a greenhouse. We're going to stick this in there along with anything else that may be sensitive to cold. Um, and, you know, that's it. You know, we can't keep this in the greenhouse for a long time because it gets massive. But this year is going to get some um, extra special care. Um, and that's the breadfruit. And that's it for my video, guys. Thank you guys for watching my video. And you guys have a good day.